Just taking a quick break from the road this week. I'm going to be appearing on BYU's pregame show tomorrow night for their game against Cincinnati. They put me on a plane. It's way easier than driving. You can feel like it's about to pounce. BYU, 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 BYU. So I'm here at the BYU soccer game. I was handed a cougar tail which I'm told to donut of some sort, but let's find out. Yeah, this appears to be just a bread loaf's worth of donut. I don't know if I'm expected to eat this by myself. This is too much donut, man. This is months worth of sugar. I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting a little bit of sugar rush. I've just eaten most of this foot-long donut. This is more sugar than I've consumed in several years. <laughs> it's gotta go to my head. This crowd, all the way full on that side. Student section over there on the other side is standing room only. This section's all the way full. It's just a cool thing to see for a successful program like BYU Women's Soccer. So I'm, I'm here in a beautiful Provo, Utah. One thing I think I'm learning is that LDS people have just swapped all of their vices for sugar. Last night at the soccer game, they gave us the cougar tail. I now have soda from So Delicious. And this is root beer with toasted marshmallow in it. It's incredible. So yeah, that's, that's the Provo experience. I've had way too much sugar and I'm not sure whether that's healthier than <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> This is the number one sign that I'm going to be on TV. It's makeup time. My face may look slightly better than in my normal videos of me driving at 4 a.m. They gave you a little headset. I feel ready to call plays, man. Uh, I was not expecting to be nervous, but then you stand and there are cameras. And the thing that's really making me nervous is all of the BYU students with the fans. I'm not used to performing for an audience. I'm used to talking into my phone. Tonight we introduce you to Road Raj. We welcome Roger Sherman to game day. Welcome to Provo. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I went to a Utah game a couple weeks ago and I was just wondering, what's better, BYU or Utah? <laughs> what's better, BYU or Utah? You know, you used to experience game days uh, in multiple places, and, and we all know that college football is the best sport in the entire universe. We all I know that. So. We, 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 we know so. that. Um, what do you think is the magic sauce for the reason why it's the best sport? You know what it is? It's, it's, it's when people are so proud of their place, their school, whatever is tied up into it, and all the things that surround it, and they just want to show it to me. Like, they just want to show me what's great about their specific place, and you multiply that times every school in the country, every place has things that they, they feel are special. And they show up every Saturday or Friday night, and they, they just spend, you know, four hours just celebrating what makes that place special to them. Uh, so, Roger, the I'm, I'm, Roger, how can folks follow your journey, and where are you off to next? So first of all, hey, we're on, <laughs> hey! on YouTube. Let's give it up for Roger Sherman, the Road Raj. And we're live with him on YouTube. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it is great to have you with us. Have a great time tonight. So now I'm done talking. A little bit emotionally exhausted from having to talk on camera. Uh, but I'm just ready to make it with the fans, see what happens. Go. You know, I've always wondered what BYU tailgating looks like. I mean, there's, there's a couple people eating 
beat out of the back of their car for sure. They have a really sweet setup down there uh, with like live beds and food and stuff, but definitely a different scene from what we've seen at past schools with the parking lots full of people uh, handing me beers. Great mountains. Out to the sugar intake. We got the BYU Creamery. I'm jacked up on sugar and I'm ready to scream about sports. You can order 12 Cougar Tails, a box of 12. So I'm here with Drake from the Locked On Big 12 podcast. He's actually taller than me. I, I don't know why you just stood down like Sorry, that. Ross. Yeah. Um, um, you just received a report about the status of Cougar Tails. Uh, out of Cougar Tails, apparently by halftime. Travesty, you, you market one thing so well, it's Cougar Tails, and you run out of them. I, I don't know. This I'm is sure. a stadium of 64,000 people. They ate 18,000 Cougar 18, Tails. 18,000 Cougar Tails. We're doing some quick math here. We're looking at about a fourth of this stadium has eaten Cougar Tail, and I am not included in that fourth. We're going to do the math on how much sugar was consumed today. 22,000 calories each, right? 22,000? No, no, 2,200. I still don't believe that either. Not only are they sold out of Cougar Tail, they cannot physically bake any more. Apparently, they have maxed out the bakery. What is this? What is this place? So the, the Road Rod Magic is back, BYU wins. People from the University of Cincinnati, I just need to apologize. I promise from the bottom of my heart, I'm gonna stop going to University of Cincinnati football games. They're 0-2 with me in the audience, I'm so sorry. Today was, uh, it was the most attended BYU game in about uh, 15 years. What I feel like is underrated about BYU is they know how to put on a show pretty well. And I think they also kind of get that, like being in a big conference now, they want to level up to, to kind of earn that. Um, I could use a beer though. All right, leaving BYU, had a great time last night, but I woke up a little bit late. My flight to make the 10 a.m. kickoff in Boulder leaves at 5, 17 a.m. That's about 15 minutes earlier than I thought. I should not be talking at this time, bye. I'm not gonna talk, just get around. That was a dead sprint. I take it all back. Driving's way better. That was worse than anything, any drive I've done. Cannot believe we made it. It's still incredible. So we are in a serious time crunch to get to game day by 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Very lucky moments, Colin. Our friend from the right. Discord happened to be dropping his wife off at the airport at about an hour apart from when I, when, when I was uh, landing. This has been such a chaotic day, but Colin's gonna make it happen. We're gonna get to the game in time, uh, and I can't say thank you enough. Yeah, number one goal, get around to see Ralphie. And you are an actual born Colorado fan. Yep. in an era when Deion Sanders is the coach of the Colorado Buffaloes. How's it feeling? It feels great, you know, um, really enjoying the ride and uh, I'm trying, in, to, trying to just enjoy the moment because I know it's not going to last too long. It's honestly kind of what happened to me this morning. Someone showed up out of nowhere and took me along for uh, <laughs> an incredible ride. I want to be extremely clear about something. Not only did Colin come out of nowhere to give me a ride from Denver Airport, which is the middle of nowhere, but he's doing it on a broken ankle, like Willis Reed. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, but I think we're gonna get to see Ralphie, and we're definitely gonna get to see Dion, but from far away. Yes. <laughs> Mountains, 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 mountains.
Anybody I met out here, fuck Dude, boys. Matthew's you fucking kick ass. Yeah. It's the biggest game of the week. Colorado, USC, LeBron is here. Lil Wayne is here. Snoop Dogg is here. I'm here to see one person. I'm here to see Ralphie. I guess Ralphie's not a person. But I'm here to see Ralphie. We're not promo anymore. There she is, the giant bubble on the side of that tent over there. I want you guys down your feet for the best tradition in college football. Here comes Ralph. She's so beautiful and powerful. Hell yeah, go Bucks. I love stadiums that were built long enough ago that they were like, we must have educational value. I'm sitting here by this uh, beautiful stream about a block away from Colorado Stadium because it's Colorado. Of course, they have a beautiful stream a block away from their stadium. Well, first of all, the game was awesome. Colorado has the juice. They don't have skilled linemen, but they have the juice. Obviously, everyone is here because of DI, because of either directly in terms of all the people you see at the game with, you know, Deion Sanders baseball jerseys or shirts with Deion Sanders quotes or face on them, or indirectly in that they've chosen to come to a Colorado game because Colorado is good now. The in-stadium experience was actually surprisingly there's someone pissing over there. The stream is slightly less beautiful now that it has that guy's piss in it. He's taking his time with it, man. The, the funny thing is, you go to the game expecting to see Dion, 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 because that's everywhere. And that's all that sports coverage is right now, and it's deserved. The thing that's awesome right now is not just Dion, but Colorado football. And. It's a hell of a place at a team to root for. It is a beautiful place. It is a beautiful bison. And I, I had an awesome time, uh, especially because Colorado almost made it a game.